Hey, this is Valentin Melstrom from Death Wolf, and you're watching Planet Metal. tour with uh, Death Wolf and on package with Grave and Marduk. Yes. Um, how's the tour so far? It's been uh, very, very intense. It's been good. A lot of good places. Uh, people will be coming out and uh, just, uh, it's been fun. It's been a, a madhouse, a massacre. It's been... <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, it's been fun. It still is. Uh, actually, you started out, I think, 12 years ago as a, a cover band for Misfits and Danzig songs and things like that. When did you decide to do your own things, your own songs? Well, it was uh, actually, I was not a part of the band when they started the whole uh, uh, tribute, so to speak, uh, thing. I came in later and I did one album with uh, Devil's Whorehouse. Yeah. And uh, we quickly kind of realized, no, we need to do something on our own. We need to use our own uh, darkness, where we come from, and bring more of that out. And maybe, uh, yeah. So we turned it into Death Wolf and said, Le from here on, we're going to do it this way. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what we're doing. Yeah. But why did you decide to change the name into Death Wolf? It was just, uh, we, we were not, we're not in any way a tribute or a cover, or we have so many inspirations. Uh, so to just be, uh, one, you know, a tribute band or to be associated with that is something that's not correct now. It's just something that's stuck with the old uh, Devil's Whorehouse, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So Death Wolf is a band on its own uh, with its own influences and uh, it's, yeah, that's what it is. It's a marking of the time. It's but, something. but the Danzig influence is still obvious in the sound, so it, it, is, is this uh, intentional? Well, I'm just as influenced or even more by uh, bands like The Cult or uh, uh, Fields of Nephilim. Or, 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 or There's a lot of inspiration regarding singing dark or yeah. having it been inspired by Elvis or whatever. Yeah. There's many bands we're inspired by. Uh, so to just say it's one thing, it uh, would be making it simple. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, yeah, I just think it's kind of stuck with, with the old, with Devil's Warehouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, the new record is called uh, Black Armored Death, yes. which is which sounds very sinister. So, uh, is this a libel concept for you to have very sinister lyrics and very dark lyrics? And what what are they about, by the way? It, it, I think it is. It's 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 simple. It's raw. It's to the point. It's Black Armored Death. It's unstoppable. It's it's what it is. It's it's very. Uh, how, uh, uh, peeled down to its core of uh, and uh, yeah it, it says what it is pretty much just like the name death wolf death and wolf and and uh, black armored death there's nothing around it you hear what it is and then you'll you'll get it yeah maybe <laughs> yeah like a bayonet and the <laughs> it's like iron maiden <laughs> yeah maybe. yeah there are some uh, some songs about uh, I think uh, northern mythology on the record and I think there, there yeah I think there are some songs about things we don't know yet uh, for example the song Rottenburg which is not mm. about the cannibal of Rottenburg I guess it's, it's not no it's uh, I, that was written by Morgan uh, so uh, yeah you'll have to talk to him more about those uh, that song maybe yeah, but he isn't here uh, no, I don't. No, but there's a lot. There's a lot of uh, Norse mythology, definitely, mm -hmm. and the darker side. Not maybe the the heroes, so to speak. We mm -hmm. sing a lot about uh, the other side. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So this is his department to well, <laughs> write yeah. lyrics on the dark side. Some, some, yeah. Some, some he writes. Some I write. Yeah. But uh, the song Snake Mountain, I think it's not so very dark. It's very, yeah. It, it comes out from these Masters of Universe thing, I think. It's a little catchy. It's a, uh, it's a little. Uh, maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe. <laughs> well, no one knows. No one knows. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, what's your favorite uh, favorite song to perform on stage uh, from the new album? 
From the new album, I would say uh, I, I like the faster ones. I like Black Armored Death. The punky ones. Yeah. Uh, I, I, and Dawn of Flesh uh, is one I enjoy as well. Uh, yeah, I, liked, I, I, really, I really like to perform those. I would say we did a cover of uh, uh, Black Angel. Uh, this is actually a June. cover version. Yeah, yeah. Death, uh, Death in June. So that was pretty, pretty. Yeah, I like to, I like to, to, uh, I like to record that. We're not playing that live now, mm -hmm. but, but I would say yeah, the faster, the faster ones, the misfits ones. The, the yeah, there, yeah, there. Would you describe the, the style of the band as dark rock, horror punk? Uh, what is it in, in the end? Just rock? Yeah, it's, it's punk, it's rock, it's metal. Uh, uh, yeah, I wouldn't say, uh, I wouldn't call uh, Norse mythology and these things horror as much as it's, mm. that's something that's still stuck with the old name, but uh, yeah, it's, it's dark. It's dark, it's rock, it's punk. It's simple. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Would you have imagined, uh, say, 10 years back, uh, that you'd be on tour with such a cool package with Marto, Grave, you, Valkyria, and all the other guys which opened for you, Trash Band, which are actually all from uh, Norway and Sweden, by the way. Yeah, yeah. No, we're. It's uh, cool for you? So, a uh, dream come true for you? Well, you when you aim for it, you work for it, and you're it, it's it, it feels uh, I guess you're honored, of course, and it's always fun to play with new bands. And when you get to tour with bands like Grave and Marduk, it's it's of course an honor. But uh, when you come to an age, you're just uh, you're there and you're living it. Uh, to stop and just think, wow, of course you do, but. Uh, you just you you feel that you're in your right place, you're in your right element. So uh, maybe we'll start after. Usually after the tour, you look back and see that was pretty fucking mm -hmm. fun. But right now we're just working. We're just working yeah. our asses off to deliver a hell of a show. And uh, you're working <laughs> <laughs> now. Um, yeah. Do do you think uh, for Morgan it's it's a bit of a challenge to play in two bands every evening? I'm uh, I'm amazed. He's a uh, He's a machine. He marches on. He can play. He could play with more bands in a night. He's. Uh, I'm just impressed uh, with uh, that. He does not break in any way. <laughs> so it, that's inspiring. But uh, I don't think. It, I, th I think it's. Uh, yeah, it's a challenge that he he chose to take, and uh, he has no problem. Uh, yeah, he doing handles it. Yes, well. he does. He's experienced. Well experienced with. Mm. So it's but pretty cool. Does he do the whole songwriting for Defo, or is, uh, are you guys involved as well? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm involved a bit too, and uh, but he does a lot of writing. He does a lot of writing in it. So, uh, but uh, yeah, and I, I live over in the states, mm -hmm. so we we work a lot. I go back and forth and uh, for the recordings, and we yeah, and talk online and all this stuff, and try to communicate uh, before the album. We go in and just. Uh, so everything is set, the concept and everything, mm -hmm. and then we just we go in and live it, and then yeah, finish it. So it turned from a cover band to a real band, in the end, with actually with Defo for two records out. Uh, what does the future look like for you now, from now point? Dark, grim, horrible. <laughs> and I mean for the band, not for the world. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> no, I will be. Uh, I am really excited about the new album. I think it really defines Death, Death Wolf and, and uh, what we wanted to do with a change. And I, I, we really, uh, it, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be, it's something I can say and stand for. And uh, it's there's more to come. Ripples. There's more to there's, come. There's going to be very dark ripples coming from this one. I, I believe it. And more will come from this one. I like Black like Armored Death very much. And Thanks. the first one as well. So, yeah. Valentin, nice talk to you. Likewise. And I hope you finish the tour well. A few dates left. And, yeah. Thank, Thank you. I hope the show is going okay tonight. We will make sure yeah. that it does. Fueled on hatred. <laughs> Cheers. He's working. <laughs>